Alright guys, this is another lesson on complementary colors. So if you remember before when we talked about complementary colors, we found out that yellow and violet were complements, red and green were complements, blue and orange are complements, and even red-orange and blue-green are complements. In fact, let's go back and review some of those real quick. Uh, let's see, I need a new window. You don't have to do this part. I'm just going to take a look at some complementary colors. Complementary colors. And just to review, and in fact you guys might need to use this. Uh, where are we at? Okay, images. Alright, so before we were looking at this and this color wheel. We've got yellow, red, and blue. Those are your primary colors. And the secondary colors uh, end up becoming their complements. So blue is to orange, yellow is to purple, which would be said that should say violet. Red is to green. And then your other ones, you've got blue green is to red orange, uh, yellow orange is to blue violet, red violet, and blue uh, yellow green yellow. I'm sorry, I should be saying violet red. You're supposed to say the secondary and then the primary, so violet red, red uh, orange red, orange yellow, green yellow, blue green, and or green blue and violet blue. All right, so just that's a quick review. Now let's look at this lesson. Now this lesson is going to be a little extra hard, and it may take a little more than one video. So I'll post vo both videos, and you'll just have to watch both. Okay, and remember, please pause and catch up whenever you need to. Now one thing I do want to point out real quick: when you look down at your um, when you look down at your mouse, your keyboard here, your mouse, you've got um, a couple things we need to learn. One, this is where your mouse can be moved by. And some of you have the type of uh, keypad here, mouse pad, where you have a left side and a right side. And most of the time we click with the left button. Um, if you click with the right button, you can get some options. And I'm going to be saying click on the right, uh, right click quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> Those of you who have, um, I think it's, uh, uh, some of you won't be able to do that, and you may be just like, you know, wandering over and over again, why is this not working? You might have to where you have to click two fingers, like that, at the same time. Uh, some computers are made like that, some are made with a right click. And then I also want you guys to notice on your key, on your um, keyboard here, that there is a shift button. That's this one that says shift and control C R T or C T R L. So shift and control, those are two important buttons to know whenever we're using Pixlr today. Alright, so enough of the keyboard. Back to the computer. Okay, there we go. Now we're back in focus. So what you're gonna do today, we are gonna come to Pixlr. We're gonna use Pixlr E. Pixlr E. Let's see what comes up. Make sure it's the right one. Yep, good. So I've got all my Pixlr E stuff here. Now I'm going to click on Create New. And you normally we use Full HD, but what we're going to do instead is we're going to scroll down. We're going to find Ultra H. No, not Ultra HD. Square HD. I'm sorry. Square UHD. Square UHD. That's UHD. Square. The numbers should be 2160 by 2160. That's the biggest square preset that they have, so we're going to use that one today. And on my name, I'm going to type in my name, my last name. And complementary C O M P L E M E N T A R Y C O M P L E M E N T A R Y 
And before you click create, check the background on so that we have a little white background. Okay. And then you click create. Now we're not going to do anything else here before we find a picture. So for an example for this picture, what we're going to use is uh, I just have been having the kids at school pick out the, a favorite animal or an animal they, um, they want to use that day. So let's see. Um, I'll pick out a random one. Let's go with... Z toucan. I'll do toucan. Toucan. Did I spell that wrong? T O U C A N. Okay. So when you're looking for an animal, type it into your search bar right here. And then after you do that, we're going to click on images. And this is if you're using Google. If you're using something else, you may have to figure out how you're doing it, but it should be similar. And click on images. And that brings up all my pictures. And before I start scrolling through, Let's pick some things, let's do some settings, uh, or not settings, tools. So what we're going to do over here in our top bar, we see settings and tools. Those are important. So we're going to click on tools, and we're going to click on size. We're going to choose medium. And that brings up only medium-sized pictures that aren't too big. Oh, that's, that's sad. Oh, I'm sorry if you guys happen to see that. But we got to keep looking. So we're also going to choose settings. Uh, no, not settings. It's not there. It's right here. Usage rights. So because this is out on the internet and I'm making this on YouTube, I need to use something that is free to use. So I need to click on usage rights and Creative Commons license. That's good. That means that I can use this for whatever I'm doing with school. So we want to click on Creative Commons license. Okay, so there we go. Got some nice pictures of some toucans. And let's see, I'm going to go with, I like this one, but here's what we're going to have to do. Okay, this is really important. This is why this video is going to take so long. I'm going to click on the picture, and it pops up right here. Now, the thing is, is I don't really know what the websites are. I don't want to see the websites. I don't want to go to the websites. To avoid having to actually go to the websites and just go to where this picture is on that website, what you're going to do, this is the right click thing. So on your mouse pad, remember you got two sides there, click on the one on the right. So you right click and it should pull up these options. Oops, let's do that again. Right click and then I have options. Okay, some of you may have to double click. Uh oh, and there that's what happens when you click on the actual image. It goes to the website. And I don't want to go to the website. I just want the picture. So I'm gonna right click on there. Or some of you may have to double click with two fingers at once, just doot, and it brings up this screen. From here, we're gonna to go to open image in new tab. Open image in new tab. So that opens up a new tab at the top. I can go look at it, and what I want to see is, well, yeah, the picture looks great. Somebody else's picture. They did a great job with that. But this is what I'm interested in up here at the top. Does the file, does the URL name end in a .jpg? .jpg. If it does, good. If it doesn't, you're going to have to keep looking for another one that ends in .jpg. Uh, Pixlr is very fickle about what pictures you can upload into it, and so the best thing to do is just make sure that it ends in a .jpg. And this one does. So what I can do is I want you to triple click inside the URL bar. That's the big jumble of letters and numbers up here. And turn that blue. Once it's blue, you can copy and paste it. So there's many ways to do this. The way I'm going to show you is again you right click with your mouse up on the letters, anywhere on the letters. You right click and click copy. Now if you don't have the right click thing on your computer again, you come over it, triple click, and then double click with two fingers like this. 
right there on your mouse pad. So, copy. Great, that's all I needed that for. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to Pixlr. And guys, please pause, catch up, watch the video again, rewind, do whatever you need to to stay on, on uh, up to speed with me here, okay? You take as long as you need to on this. Okay, so now I've got a square, and I want to put four of these in there, and I want them to be squares themselves, so there's a lot of work we've got to do to get there. Here we go. First thing, come over here to Layer, and click on Layer. You're going to add URL as Layer. That's add URL as layer. That brings up this, this window. With this window, you're going to click in here, and you can hit Control V. Remember the Control button? Control V as in, as in uh, victory or victor. Or you can right click or double click for people who don't have with two fingers at the same time. If, you don't, if your right click doesn't work. But most of us have the kind where you right click and brings up this screen and you can paste and paste in your URL. Now, once you hit load, it should pop up. If it says something else, like it didn't work, try all the steps again. It's really, really fickle. And sometimes if you accidentally put in the wrong, uh, an extra letter or character, it won't work. So that's something you're going to have to do is um, make sure you just keep doing those steps until you get your picture in here. Okay, I'm going to pause for a second.